Okay, party says it's disappointed by the ruling. It says the decision is a massive and dangerous setback for race relations in the country. Uh, to think that a national art gallery that's funded by the government, by taxpayers' money, uh, can put forward a piece of supposed art that says F white people, um, to think what types of artworks might appear in the future. In his findings, Chief Magistrate Daniel Tulare says the installation is Dean Hutton's artistic creativity. It was part of an exhibit which sought to spark debate and discussion on race. In his judgment, he uses examples of Albert Latuli and Nelson Mandela's speeches on white supremacy and white domination. Tulare says Latuli, Mandela and Hutton all use the word white to describe a system of oppression. He says the one thing the art exhibit achieved was to draw South Africans to a moment of self-reflection. Hutton is a UCT Fine Arts Master's student and the piece was part of an Art of Disruption exhibition. Lawyers for the Iziko National Gallery say the ruling is a very important one. Quite a landmark judgment. It came to the defence of freedom of speech, uh, came to the defence of artistic expression. Party leader Jack Miller says they're considering whether to appeal the ruling. Zulfa Khan, Cape Town.